welcome to my channel art saga today in mini series we will learn about how to draw grid lines if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for my next videos so guys let's start class we learned about how to draw ceilings today we'll learn about how to draw grids in our floor plan so right now we are in a ceiling plan we will go into plinth level plan because it's, it's the base level of the our plan so now we have to draw some grids over here so basically grids are always drawn on center to center distance of the wall so what i'll do i'll go to architecture and search for grids so grids can only draw in plan section and elevation so you cannot draw it in 3d let's check can we draw it in 3d so no we cannot draw a grid in 3d so this command is not activated here when you open a 3d view so let's go drawing some grids over the plan so what i'll do go to architecture and select grid the shortcut for grid is gr so I'll select this and I'll zoom in so you can see a dotted line in the center. So whenever this dotted line appears, drag your mouse from left to right or right to left. And you can see a bubble and a dotted grid line appears. So I'll click again and escape two times so I'm out of the command. Now you can choose if you want bubble on one side or two sides. So if you want bubble on two sides, click on the grid and you can see this box so you just have to click it after you click it there are bubbles on both sides so I'll just move it and arrange it properly so my presentation would look good so now again I will draw grid I'll go to architecture grids I want my grid on this wall so I'll say this and I'll just align it to align uh, whenever you move the grid point you will see a blue dotted line you can align the grid bubbles so I'll say click and my grid 2 is ready now again I'll select for grid 3 and my grid 3 here bubble is here and I'll click I'll just drag it and check for blue dotted line and yes this is correct so I have three grids for my walls now I want vertical grids we are done with horizontal grid I'll just put vertical grids same check for dotted line and move this grid till where you want and click for bubble but I want to name this A so what I'll do I'll press here and type A I want capital so I'll press caps lock and A so I have A here and automatically on second side it would be A now I'll go for another grid I'll select this check for blue dotted line this is aligned I'll move it down and check for box now I have a slanted wall here and on an angular side so again I'll check for center line move my grid check for dotted line again I'll move this dot so check for dotted line and done and I'll say click here and we have grids here so our grids are ready now so let's go to other plan and see if the grids are looking the same so I'll go to first floor level and you can see grid bubbles on one side only so how can we have bubbles on two sides with one single click so here's a method so let's go to plinth level again what I'll do I'll select all the grids and after doing that you can see a command called propagate extends so whenever you click on grid the modify section tab will activate and you can see propagate extends so when I click on this this tab opens you can see various views here so now I want it on first floor level on ground level on parapet level on side plan if you want to add it on RCPs like ceiling plans you can select those as well and I'll say ok now when I say ok and I move to first floor level now you will see 
I have bubbles on both ends. Now if I want to move my grid again, so what I do, I will select this grid and move this to some dimensions from the base point. Now I have moved it and if I go to plinth level, here also this is moved because we have used the command called propagate extends. So whenever I move the grid on any view, this will also move. So if you do not want that, what you can do, select the grid and you can see a small symbol here called 3D. So you just change it to 2D. So I have changed this grid to 2D, I will change this grid to 2D and I will change this grid to 2D as well. Now if I try to move it, this will move only in this view. So what I will do, I will change the grid dimension here also, the distance here and say yes and I will go to first floor level. So see, you can see this is not changed on this view because we have changed from 3D to 2D. Now this is 2D. You can also give dimensions to this by pressing DI and I can give dimensions now. So I want the center to center dimensions and I can give dimensions here. I'll just select some points and give dimensions. So guys, today we learn about how to draw grids. You can explore more and practice. For my next videos, please subscribe my channel and like this video.